Amen, amen, and amen again. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for the great things that he has done. Amen. We're dealing with a light situation tonight. Amen. But it's all good. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Father God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. We are here. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Father God. We are here, amen, to share the gospel of Jesus Christ, amen. To God be the glory for the great things that he has done, amen. This is Heal the Land Crusades, where it says, If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, hey, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. Does your land need to be healed? Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm believing God to do some mighty things. Amen. For you tonight. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're going to have a good time in the Lord. Praise God. I'm believing God to just bless. Hallelujah. We're going to share a word. Praise God. Amen. And ultimately it is. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. I know it sounds like it's a bit much. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Some of the sometimes we don't want to hear that. Praise God. We don't want to hear about uh, what the wage is for sin. We don't want to hear about that. Praise God. We don't want to hear about what makes us uncomfortable. Glory to God. But if you know like I know, I want somebody to tell me the truth. Glory to God. Tell me the truth. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to your name, Father God. So, I'm going to calm down because I was in a rush trying to get this together. The preacher that was supposed to go on tonight, praise God, he's not here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He didn't go on. Amen. But guess what? No weapon formed against this crusade shall prosper. Amen. We're more than a conqueror. Amen. Glory to God. And we're going to keep it going in the mighty name of Jesus. You know... I thank God for this crusade because it gives me time to testify and really, really minister to the heart of those that have not received Jesus Christ, those that have received Jesus Christ, but they have not, uh, amen, come into the fullness of it. Come, Like they say, you haven't come all the way in, glory to God, amen. Still some work that needs to be done, praise God, amen. So I want to cur encourage you tonight, praise God, through the word of God, hallelujah, that God has so much in store for you. He has so much in store for you, praise God. And I'm telling you, if you just trust him, if you just trust him, amen, hallelujah, glory to God. Uh, uh, listen, if you never tried him, try him just one time. All I'm asking is for you to try him just one time. And I promise you, praise God, amen, you'll never, amen, be the same again. Glory to God. I know, praise God, hallelujah, when I tried Jesus, praise God, my whole life flipped, turned upside down, amen, and right side up and all that good stuff. And I was able, praise God, amen, to know that I have help. So tonight, the main thing I want you to understand, praise God, is that coming to Jesus Christ, amen, is a blessing for your life, praise God. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Amen. It puts you in a position, praise God, amen, to be able to deal with the attacks of the enemy. It puts you in a position, praise God, to be able, amen, to do the things that that that, that uh, God made you to do. It puts you in a position that when everybody leaves you, you still have somebody. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. And I know, praise God, it, can, it, it, it gets hard sometimes. Amen. But you got to know without a shadow of a doubt that your Redeemer lives. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus Christ died on the cross that we may have a right to the tree of life. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I don't know about you, praise God, but when I found out what it did for me, amen. Glory to God. It changed my life. Glory to God. It changed my life. So we're gonna get this. We'll get this uh, broadcast started. Praise God. Want to welcome? Please share for to some more people. Praise God. Let me invite some people. Please share. We're gonna get into the Word of God. Amen. We're gonna get into this crusade. Here's the land crusades is about testimony. It's about letting people know. 
that God is able, amen, and that the blood of Jesus still works. Come on, hallelujah. Letting people know, praise God, amen, that for God I live and for God I die. Why? Because he keeps me in the midst of my storm. He keeps me when I when I, when I I want to uh, give up, glory to God. When I want to turn back, praise God. He, re he reassures me that everything is going to be all right. Hallelujah, glory to God. I don't know about you, amen, hallelujah. But when, every, when your friends have forsaken you and people have walked away from you, amen, it's something to know that God, amen, he said, I'm right here, hallelujah. I ain't go nowhere, hallelujah, glory to God. And it really, really blesses my spirit, praise God, amen. Because I've been in some dark times, amen. Some times when I couldn't see my way. I testified earlier this week, praise God, when I was in the middle of a, in a bad relationship, praise God. And, 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 and God delivered me out of that relationship, praise God, amen. Hallelujah. When God delivered me out of that relationship, praise God. Amen. Guess what? The enemy jumped, swooped right in there and said, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I mean, you don't know what you're going to do. You don't have this. You don't have that. What are you going to do? See, the enemy wants to tell you if you let go of this and you let go of that, what you going to do? Fear is not an option. Come on. Hallelujah. You got to know, praise God. Amen. That God has you. I want to build your confidence tonight in God. Hallelujah. 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 So I'm going to slow myself down. Amen. Invite some more people online. Praise God. I want to make sure everybody gets the word tonight. Praise God. Gets this uh, testimony. I'm not ashamed of my testimony. I'm not ashamed of where God brought me from. I'm not ashamed of what where I am today and, and who I used to be, praise God, amen. Because guess what? I'm able today to say that God, amen, hallelujah, he, he, he changed my life, amen. And he set my feet on a solid foundation, hallelujah, glory to God. So you too have to be, amen, in that position to understand, praise God, what he, got, he wants to do with your life. I'm just getting myself ready. I'm getting myself ready. Hey, everybody, we're going to pray in just a moment. Hallelujah. Invite everybody that you want to invite. Praise God, because we're going to get to praying in just a minute. We're going to get to praying, because the devil is a lie. He's not going to stop this crusade. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Not going to stop this crusade. Again, my apologies. We were supposed to be on at 7 o'clock. Hallelujah. But it don't matter because we're here now. Hallelujah. Uh, we're here now, praise God. Amen. Glory to God. And I look forward to sharing the gospel. We, we uh, had a broadcast this morning, praise God, where we talked about get rid of your baggage. You need to get rid of your baggage, praise God. Amen. And how do I let go of baggage? How do I let go of old stuff? How do you just throw it away? Amen. And then you put Jesus in its place. Come on. Hallelujah. Because sometimes we let go. Hallelujah. We get rid of it, but we pick it back up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But God wants us, amen. He wants us, praise God, to uh, trust him. Amen. With everything that we are. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's get started. Amen. I don't know if you can hear that. But I'm going to try to turn it up so you can hear it. My God reign. Our God reign. Lord, you reign above every name. Come on, hallelujah, my God reigns, our God reigns, Lord you reign above every name, with power and majesty, go ahead and, and, and invite, 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 praise God, start a watch party, praise God, amen, I, I want as many people here as possible, praise God, we're just going to have, amen, a talk tonight, praise God, amen. And I want to reassure you, praise God, that God loves you, amen. There's nothing too hard for God. 
Hallelujah. And God has so much in store for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Galatians, I believe we're going to come from Galatians tonight. Amen. You're an authority, you reign. Come on, invite some people. Amen. Power and majesty. Hallelujah. You reign. Oh, say my God reign. Say our God reign. Say, Lord, you reign above every name. Come on. Hallelujah. Let's worship while we wait. Amen. For others to join us. Praise God. Hallelujah. With power and majesty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, with power and majesty. Dominion and authority, you reign. Hey, glory, hallelujah. Hey, say my God reign. Say your God reign. Say, Lord, you reign above every name. Hallelujah. God reigns, hallelujah. Does he reign in your life? Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Father God. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you tonight. We love you, Father God. Hallelujah. You've been so good to us. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. With power and majesty, dominion and authority, you reign. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just get somewhere, amen, where you can receive the word of God tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Father God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight is to heal the land crusade. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. How many of your land needs to be healed? Whether that land is your children, whether that land is your finances, whether that land, come on, hallelujah, is bills and, and debt and all this. But the main land that needs to be healed, I like that, the main land that needs to be healed is your, man, your inner uh, being, glory to God, hallelujah. So we're going to talk about that tonight. Glory to God. We're going to talk about, amen, the flesh. We're going to talk about, amen, the, the uh, uh, manifestation of the flesh. Amen. We're going to talk about those things that nobody wants to talk about anymore. Everybody wants to talk about houses and cars and all of these different things. But they're not saying anything about the condition of your relationship with God. They're not talking about, amen, the condition of... Uh, of sin in your life, the toll that it's taken on your life, hallelujah, but we're going to talk about that tonight, let us pray, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you tonight, Father God, Lord, we need you to meet us right here, right here where we sit, glory to God, online, praise God, amen, are ready to receive of you. Lord, we need you to meet us. Hallelujah. Right here, glory to God. Lord, we need a, a word tonight. We need healing tonight. We need hope tonight. We need peace tonight. And Lord, we're relying on you, glory to God. Because we know can't nobody do us like Jesus. Amen. So we thank you for it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God again. We thank you, Father God. We ask, Father God, that the blood of Jesus, amen, be applied to our children, that the blood of Jesus be applied to our finances, that the blood of Jesus be applied to every area of our lives, that whatever is happening right now in this world, it will pass over and won't, will not come not our dwelling, amen? We pray for all of those that are sick and shut in. We pray for those that are in the hospital that's been diagnosed. We pray, Father God, that 
that we speak life. And we do not speak death. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because she said life and death is in the power of the tongue. Keep us, protect us, give us a spirit of obedience to obey the law of the land. And we thank you for it right now. In your son Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Somebody say hallelujah, amen. How you doing? Glory be to God. Uh, something, amen. So that we will know that you are tuning in. Praise God. Hallelujah. We know that you're going to be uh, receiving this word tonight. Again, uh, the message, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Amen. Hallelujah. Just that simple. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. I always testify about the things that I've been through. I always testify, praise God, about uh, the places I've been and where sin let me pray, led me, praise God. And we got to understand that the devil has an agenda, amen? He has also a plan for your life, praise God. But it ain't too late to wake up. Come on, hallelujah. Oh, and receive Jesus Christ unto yourself. Receive the protector. Receive the keeper. Receive the comforter. Come on. Amen. Jesus Christ, praise God, died on the cross for our sins. That we may have a right to the tree of life. He rose on the third day, praise God. When he met with the disciples, he said, I'm going to go. And I'm going to prepare a place for you. He said, and where I go, yeah, you're going to be there too one day. Amen. But until then, glory to God, I'm going to send a comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. Now, let me tell you about the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is a keeper. Glory to God. So, you don't just want to receive salvation. You want to receive the keeper. Glory to God. Which is the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God. So, we want to uh, get into this word tonight. We're going to be in Galatians 5. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I usually start at verse 19. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's start at verse 13. Let's start at verse 13. And let's get let's I like to I like to read and then talk to you. Because I want you to really get it. Praise God. I don't want you to be deceived. In this day and time, we want to believe a lie rather than believe the truth. Praise God. Amen. Everybody telling you it's saying everybody going to heaven. Once saved, I always say that's not true. Praise God. Because if that was true, we wouldn't need the word of God. Amen. We would just need uh, uh, to receive Jesus. And that'll be it. But we need to understand. Man, it's a lifestyle. You got to live it. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. You can't just say, well, I love Jesus and you think it's all done with. Praise God. Because it's muggers, robbers, and murderers that said they love Jesus. Praise God. But they are. But what they, what's manifesting from them is death and, and, and damnation and, 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 and strife. So, so we have to understand that he go, that God is going to always love us. Jesus is going to always love us. Nothing can separate us from his love. But it's some things that will keep us out the kingdom. Come on, I'm trying to help you. Hallelujah. And being saved is not a title. Oh, I want to bless you tonight. Being saved is not a title. It's a lifestyle. It's a decision. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Saying that as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. So it goes beyond you just receiving Jesus Christ. You got to begin to learn of him. Get in the word and find out what he hates. Find out what he loves. Find out what will separate you. Find out what he when he talks about integrity. Find out who he is. Come on. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Verse 13. Amen. Galatians 5 and 13 says, For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Come on. You have been called into freedom. Come on. Hallelujah. Uh, some of us, amen, are in bondage and don't know we in bondage. Come on. Hallelujah. But he said, brethren. He said, my, he, he we were talking about if my people. He said, brethren, I have called you into liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh. Come on, amen. Some people, oh, it don't take out that. It take that and then some. He don't want us walking around saying, well, I'm free, so I can do this over here. I can do that over here. I can, God don't, listen, he love me no matter what. But what will separate you? 
sin will separate you from the kingdom of God. Yes, it's true that we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Come on, amen. But are you going to allow that to be your excuse? To be that, to give yourself an occasion to sin? Come on, watch this, amen. Watch this. It says, but by love serve one another. Come on, hallelujah. Serve one another. Let's go to verse 14. For all the law is fulfilled in one word. Even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as I love thyself. Come on, hallelujah. But this is the thing. If you don't love you, then you can't know how to love your neighbor. If you don't love you, you don't know how to love your friend. If you don't love you, come on, hallelujah. If you don't have love, if you don't have God, it says, amen, in 1 John 4, 7 and 8, it says, for uh, uh, beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God and everybody that love knoweth God and loveth God. He that knoweth not, loveth not God, for God is what? Love. My God, hallelujah. I love this. This is wonderful. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Watch this. Amen. Verse 15. But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. Glory to God. You're going to be consumed. Treating each other bad and, and devouring. We talk, listen, I was talking to someone today about that. How we treat one another. How we, how we talk to one another. How we handle one another. Yeah, I'm getting to the wages of sin is dead, but the gift of God is eternal life. But God wants us to understand, praise God, that we can't even love each other, right? Until we learn the word of God. Till we love our brother. Till we love ourselves. How do we love ourselves? We receive God. We receive Jesus Christ. Now watch this. Amen. It says, this I say then, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. How do I keep from falling? How do I keep from going back into my old ways? How do I keep stay delivered? How do I stay in peace? How do I, come on, stay in fellowship with God? Come on, hallelujah. Amen. You got to learn to walk in the spirit. Amen. You got to walk in the spirit and it keeps you separated. Amen. From the works of the flesh. Why is it so major that, that God had to, that this is written? Because he does not want you to fulfill the things of the flesh because it separates you from him. My God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Treat people bad separates you from him. The ultimate thing uh, for our lives is God want, he, he wants the glory. Amen. He wants us to receive the blessings and do his will and he receives the glory. But how can you do that, praise God, when you're not delivered? How can you treat your neighbor right when you're not delivered? How can you love your neighbor right, your brother right, your mother right, your spouse right, when you're not delivered yourself? This is an individual thing. Some of us have been living out for mama salvation and granny salvation. We've been in church since we were kids. So we just, we just kept walking, never been to the altar and confessed Jesus Christ and received him uh, uh, personally. you just been in the church all your life. That's not going to be good enough. He said in his word, when you, when you, he said he's going to say one or two things. He's going to say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Or he's going to say, depart from me. I know you not, you workers of iniquity. What are workers of iniquity? Those that are out doing his work, but you're, li you're living a lifestyle that don't line up with the work you, <laughs> come on. It don't line up with his, with his word. What is a worker of iniquity? Those that know the truth, but refuse to do it. Those that go out and feed the hungry. Those that go out and do the things that make them look like they are a Christian. Make them look like. Come on. We got a lot of look likes out there. Come on. Amen. You got to work out your own soul salvation. You got to be ever so careful to get in the word. Praise God. And make sure that you are not offending God. God, listen, God's signature ain't on everything. 
Some of us marrying folk and we unequally yoked and we want to sign God's name on it just because we say in Jesus' name at the altar. But you got to make sure even the person that you attach yourself to, come on, it lines up with, with your lifestyle. Come on. It's some folk that say that don't, it, it, just because they say don't mean they supposed to be your spouse. I don't know why I'm going there, but bam, there it is. <laughs> We, we, we want to go and do things and then and sign God's name on it. But you got to make sure, praise God, amen, that this is the person that God, amen, if you're a woman that God made you from, and if you're a man that God made for you, come on. Glory to God. You want all that God has for you. And you want to walk in the spirit so that you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. A lot of the people we choose and groups that we hang around are, for, uh, are, are a manifestation of the lust of the flesh. Some of us married folks because we lusted after them and we wanted them. But God didn't say that was your spouse. Oh, I'm still there. <laughs> I'm trying to move on. Come on. Hallelujah. Let's go back into this thing. Praise God. Verse 17. It says, For the flesh lusted against the spirit. It lusts against the spirit. It don't want. Come on. It's going to de desire the opposite of what the spirit wants for you to have. It's going to tell you to go out there and do it your way. Go out there and have it your way. Go out there and do And then you want to, okay, God, look at God and put his signature on it. That ain't how it work. He said anything that you lust after comes against the spirit. The enemy never tells you how something going to end up. But he entices you and say you can have that. You desire that. You want that. Go after it. And before you know it, you're in a whole world of trouble. <laughs> Before you know it, your life is flipped upside down and you don't understand why. Because you went after something out of your flesh. It's just telling you how the flesh operate. Come on, amen. Let's look at this, amen. And it said, and the spirit against the flesh. The spirit never is never in agreement with the flesh. The spirit is never friends with the flesh. I hear a lot of people say, God knows my heart. And you yet sinning. You yet living it, uh, 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 you yet living a lifestyle that don't line up with the gospel. You yet doing things your own way. But God knows my heart. That's not going to make it. Oh, I ain't good at sugar coat nothing. That's not going to make you. You're not going to make it with that. You're going to get you. Listen. Hold yourself accountable. You're not going to make it with that. It ain't just that yo, you got a good heart. You got to receive Jesus Christ in that heart. Come on, amen. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Watch this. It says, and these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. In other words, so your discernment will let you know. No, this is not the way. I always tell people the heart, the word of God said the heart is desperately wicked. There's nothing good in the heart. That's why you have to give your heart to God. So he can take the reins of your heart and keep you in line. Come on, amen. So that you won't what? Fulfill the lust of the flesh. The, your heart will tell you he don't want you but go out there and bust all the windows out of his car. That's what the heart do. It tell you go over there and, and, and go off on him and talk to him crazy. And tell the man go and turn her phone off and act a fool. She gonna know. That's what the lust of the flesh does. It goes and tells you to do the, the heart. It goes and tells you to do things that's ungodly. That's how you should know. That these are things that should come up and let you know that you need to get your life right with God. I love her the way my mother always said. She said, whichever one you feed the most is going to rain. If you feed your spirit man the most, guess what? When something go down in your life, you'll, go, you'll, you'll pray. If you feed your flesh the most, when something go down in your life, you'll worry. 
or you will act crazy. God wants you to submit to him, give your whole life to him. Let's get into, let's go ahead and get into verse 19. I skip, uh, amen, hallelujah, down to verse 19 because this is where I want to be tonight. And I want everybody to understand, praise God, evangelism, praise God. The word of God say compelling men and, men and women to come saying, what must I do to be saved? Amen. That's what's important tonight. Amen. What must I do to be saved? First of all, you need to know what is sin. What is sin? It's so many people that say they are saved, but they're doing all kinds of stuff. So let's get into Galatians 5. Galatians 5 will break this down so-called that you won't be confused about what sin is. Amen? Now, it says in verse 19, it says, Now the works of the flesh, amen, are manifest. In other words, they come, this is how they are, are made evident. Amen? When these things are present in your life, this is the evidence that your flesh is at work. Amen? Do we have time to learn tonight? It says, which are these? Adultery. Oh, I'm in somebody's house already. Adultery is a manifestation of the flesh. You can't say God gave you, God hooked us up and I'm going to wait for her to get a divorce because God put me with this woman. So you sleeping with somebody else's wife. That's a manifestation of the flesh. God don't work like that. Oh, I told you this here the land crusades. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't sugarcoat during the crusade. Come on. We just got to get into it. Amen. And the enemy comes in and gives you all kinds of excuses. I can't help who I love. And I can't do this. I got to do it. Listen, let me tell you something. God don't work that way. Amen? And I know a lot of you saying, oh, Lord, here she go judging. I'm not judging. I'm telling you what the Word said. Amen? See, preachers done got scared to tell the truth. Praise God. Amen. But I'm not scared to tell the truth. Glory to God. Because guess what? The blood will be on my hands. Amen? So let's tell the truth tonight. Amen? Glory to God. It says adultery, fornication. Come on. It's a lot of folk out there. <laughs> See, in the world, the world say you move in with each other. You try each other out. You do, you know, that's the world's way of doing things. But God say, amen, hallelujah, that that's a manifestation of the flesh. That has nothing to do. We just read how the flesh and the spirit are contrary to each other. So fornication by any means cannot be godly. I know you're mad at me right now. Come on. Fornication is not godly. Oh, I'm talking about old school revival. See, folk can't handle it. They don't want to hear it because you have gotten into a soul tie with somebody. You just start sleeping with somebody that's not your husband. You just start doing things that are that a married woman is supposed to be doing. And now you're trying to figure out how to get out of it. You don't want to let it go. You have chosen a, a, a ungodly relationship over your relationship with God. You can't have a, a relationship full of fornication and Jesus too. You just can't have it. I'm just going uh, to listen. This here the land crusades. We are addressing things because I want you to get delivered. Hallelujah. You want the blessings of God, but you don't want to give up the, 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 the trinkets of the devil. You got to give it up. It was a man and a woman living together. They were living together. The wife got saved. And then eventually, not the wife, the girlfriend got saved. And then the boyfriend got saved. But they bills were together. Let me help you. Come on. They bills were together. You know what they did? He slept. He slept. It, it was only a one bedroom. He slept in a... <laughs> Y'all think I'm playing. But he slept in a closet and she slept in the bed. And then they got married. Because they couldn't afford to do something else. See, I want to cancel out 
the excuses that the devil give you to do some of the stuff that you do. Well, I don't want to be with somebody if I can't. Listen, that's a worldly relationship. God is, cannot get any glory from that. And you cannot be blessed through that. You got to be able to tell somebody, oh, glory to God. For God I live and for God I die. Fornication is not of God. Who is somebody mad right now? Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Uncleanness. Oh, my Lord. People used to say cleanliness is next to godliness, but that's not in the Bible. But uncleanness is in the Bible. Hallelujah. You can't keep nothing clean. You can't everything. But I'm going to tell you something. We're not just talking about the physical manifestation of it, but we're talking about your mindset. Some people's mindset is so vulgar and messed up and unclean. Oh, my God. <laughs> Somebody say, oh, she getting into it tonight. Yes, I am. Because we don't want to preach this gospel no more. Everybody want to live any kind of way. Nobody wants to, listen, it's time to, to, stand it, to raise that standard back up. Come on. It's a standard that God has for the people of God. He said we are peculiar people. We are a royal priesthood. Come on. And he didn't design us to live any kind of way. He didn't design us to just accept any old kind of thing. Come on. He didn't, he didn't design us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. To live like that. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Somebody mad right now. But it's going gonna, gonna to be alright. Hallelujah. It's going to be alright. Now I want to go to lasciviousness. Come on. People be pronouncing that all kinds of ways. Amen. But it's lasciviousness, praise God. I'm glad I got a mama, amen. <laughs> I got a mother that's a school teacher. She made sure I pronounced it right, amen. When I go into preaching, praise God, and doing my crusades, amen. I love to sit down with my mother, praise God, and she teach me different things, amen. Let's look at lasciviousness. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What is lasciviousness? <laughs> Glory to God. Some of y'all saying, oh, I can't handle this word tonight. But if you want to be free, if you want everything that God got for you, it's time to clean house. Hey, Amen? It's time to clean house. Amen? Now, let's look at it. It says the definition for it, praise God, is a person's behavior that is driven by thoughts of sex. Your thoughts are driven by sex. Some of you are dealing with pornography. Oh, yeah, I'm going. I, listen, it's here the land crusade. Some of y'all are always lusting after women. All your thoughts are always full of sex. Even with women, women looking at men, looking and, and lusting after them and all of that. All of that is the works of the flesh. Lasciviousness is a manifestation of the flesh. Some people say, oh, it's okay. I can be like that. I can be flirtatious. And I can, that's a spirit that is not of God. I want you free tonight. Amen. And whom the Son has made free is free indeed. Let's get free tonight. Glory to God. It's time to repent. It's time to come to a place where I say, I'm going to clean up my life. Lord, clean up my house. Lord, oh, Lord, have mercy. Renewing me a right spirit. Come on. Oh, give me a clean heart. Glory to God. And the word of God will do that. Lasciviousness is sex, uh, uh, thoughts of sex and, and all that kind of stuff. You want to get your life clean. You want God to bless your life? You want to go to a new uh, And everybody, I want to go to a new level. I want to go to a new place. You first got to, you first got to, come on, receive Jesus Christ and get your spirit renewed. Woo, I don't, listen, idolatry. Some folk house is more important than going to church. Some folk relationships are more important than Jesus. Some folks cause are more important than Jesus. Anything that you put before God is an idol. Some of you can't go nowhere without your lucky rabbit's foot. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some folk, they got a lucky charm, a, a dolphin, a, a, I got, you know. 
All of these different things that, that, that you can't make a move unless you have that. Or you will put it before God. You will put it before your relationship with God. Some people put drugs before God. Some people put smoking. Come on. Some people are so caught up in themselves. Their attitudes are bad. You know, come on. I'm just trying to help you today. Do we want to get free? Do we want to walk this thing for real? Do we really want it? Some of us go hide in mega churches just so we won't, so we won't hear the truth. Oh, only you got a Tupac salvation. Only God can judge me. Let me tell you something. He judges us through his word because he wants us to be ready. He wants us to be ready. He wants to say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. He wants us to enter in, come on, the kingdom. Lord, have mercy. But it's some things you got to let go of. Some of us still cussing. Let me tell y'all something. I asked God. <laughs> I listen, there was some things God started saying, hey, you gotta get rid of that. You gotta get, you gotta, some of us just feel like we're gonna live any kind of way and God will bless it. He loved me. It's a scripture in the word of God that says, just because he has he's winked at your come on. Uh, he had to come quickly and 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 and, and judge you according to what you were doing. Just because it didn't happen fast, you think you're getting away with something, but you're not getting away with nothing. A lot of folk think they get away with something, but when you stand before God, you're gonna be held accountable for everything that you've done in your life. It's written in the book. What is the book gonna say about you? He's going to say, when I told you to go to church, when I told you to study your word, when I told you to pray, when I told you to fast, this is what you did. This is what you put before me. This is what, come on. So what are you going to do? Are you willing to lose your soul's salvation over, Lord have mercy. I'm just trying to help you. Let's get on with this thing. Idolatry, witchcraft. Now, some of y'all think witchcraft is a witch is a woman standing over pot stirring food. Now, there are some folks that be doing some hoodoo and voodoo and stuff. But let me tell you what witchcraft is. Witchcraft is rebellion against God. It's for listen. It's manipulation. God don't force our will, so you don't have the right to force somebody to force somebody else's will. That's witchcraft. When you manipulate situations, when you go and tell bearer and do all these different things to manipulate situations to fit what you want, that's witchcraft. Because you forcing somebody's will. God don't do that. God don't operate like that. But we think that we got a right to do it. We don't have a right to do that. That's witchcraft. Manipulation, lies, and deceit. Like they say, throwing the rock, hiding your hand. That's witchcraft. That's manipulation. Come on now. And if you operating in witchcraft, guess what? Hmm. My God. Let's continue on. Hallelujah. Hatred. Some of us want to justify our hatred. Some of us want to justify uh, uh, having ill feelings towards folk. That's my enemy. I hate her. I can't stand her. Watch what you say out your mouth. You cannot justify. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Hatred is a manifestation of the flesh. The flesh wars against the spirit. Hatred cannot be in your life and you say that you have God. You got you to gotta forgive. You got to repent. You got to forgive. You got to let people out of these little manipulative holes you have on their life. You, you, Lord have mercy. You got a person serving you till, till you feel like you ready to forgive them. That's witchcraft. You got, you breaking people down because they did something to you back in 1963. That's witchcraft. And you need to be delivered. You do not have a right spiritually to hold people like that. Ah, my God, somebody mad right now. Variance. I love this. Hallelujah. 
So I love evangelists. See, we don't we want to tell people the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. But we don't never want to tell them what what this word means. But we're gonna do it tonight. Variance. Amen. Glory to God. Variance. Let me tell you what it is. As soon as it pull it up. Thank God for the little Google. Amen. This is what variance is. It says being different. Divergent, inconsistent, up and down. <laughs> Glory to God. Quarreling and disagreeing and bickering and always starting stuff. Never have anything nice to say. Always keeping mess going. Oh my God, I'm in somebody's house tonight. That's a manifestation of the flesh. Call one house and start something. Call over to another house and start something. You can't, that's, that's, Lord have mercy. That's a manifestation of the flesh. That ain't God. In churches, ripping churches apart, ripping families apart, starting gossiping, starting lies and spreading rumors, all of that. <laughs> one day you this, you this, you this way. The next day you another way. Nobody can tell where you coming from. That's a manifestation of the flesh. Lord have mercy. Variance. Emulations. Let's go to emulations. Hallelujah. Oh glory. We in Galatians. Amen. A lot of us don't want to hear this. Glory to God. But you. I would want to know what's going to separate me from my Lord and Savior. Amen. I would want to know, praise God, what these things are. Glory to God. Because I don't have time to play with the devil, praise God. Hallelujah. We used to say he didn't bring me, bring us this far just to leave us. He didn't teach us to swim to let us drown. He didn't build a home in us just to move away. Come on. He didn't pick us up to let us die. Oh, no. Yes. Hallelujah. Let's look at this. Emulation. Effort to match or surprise a person's achievement. That's competing. <laughs> That's a manifestation of the flesh. Some people love it. When you doing something, they got to outdo you. That's a manifestation of the flesh right here in the word of God. Emulations, constantly competing with each other. She get a house, then you got to get a big house. She get a car, new car, you got to go get a new car. She get a husband, you mad because you don't have a husband. Now listen. <laughs> get your life together, get delivered. That emulations, I want to emulate what somebody else has. Instead of trusting God for my own stuff. Come on. Amen. Emulations. A manifestation of the flesh. Wrath. We know what that is. Constantly bickering and, ar and arguing. Come on. Amen. Fighting. <laughs> you ought to have time for this tonight. Glory to God. Wrath. Hallelujah. Anger. Extreme anger. It's some folk that can't control their anger. And then they justify it. Go off, call you everything but a child of God. That is, that is wrath. That's a manifestation of the flesh. The Bible say get angry but sin not. Wrath is when you get angry and you got to go all the way to a hundred. Nobody can stop you. You got to tear everything down in your path. That's wrath. And that is not a work of God. That's a manifestation of the flesh. We are identifying the things that can separate us. Now watch this. Amen. We go into strife. Same thing. Fighting. Strife. You walk in a place, there you go. Starting something. Starting things, praise God. Getting people fighting. Getting people to not like each other. Starting stuff. Anger and bitterness. Disagree uh, dis um, disagreements over uh, 
fundamental issues, conflict, starting conflict. This is in the book of Galatians 5. I'm reading it. Amen. These are the things, praise God, amen, that God is talking about in his word. <laughs> oh, my God. Seditions, praise God. Seditions. I just want to help y'all because y'all be saying, oh, what is seditions? Let's see what seditions is. Seditions. We're talking about the things that will separate us. Come on. I don't know about you, but I don't want nothing to separate me. Look at this. Seditions. Conduct or speech. Inciting people to rebel against the authority or of a state or a monarch. That's folk that's out talking about Trump, Trump this, Trump that. Listen, you may not like who the president is, but God says pray for the leaders. Amen. Ooh, somebody hot right now. <laughs> but it's saying right here, inciting people to go against authority. We, some people do that at their job. Some people do that right in the church against the pastor. Having a, having a little meeting over here. Taking, taking people out to eat over here. Going over here and sitting with folk. Uh, getting folk turned against the leadership. Oh, Lord oh, have mercy. And you feel like you right. Let's keep going. That right there will hold you right there. Amen. <laughs> My God. Heresies. Envies. Murders. Now, envies, you just got to have with somebody. You mad. You don't like them because of what they have because you really want it. I deserve that. How she get that? How he get that? I, I, I don't know. Listen, that's not of God. You need to be delivered. Amen? Murders. Murders ain't just a, a, a physical thing. You may not be a, a person who is stabbed, shot, and killed somebody that way. But guess what? Your mouth can kill somebody. You can kill somebody's reputation. You can kill somebody's spirit. You can talk. Listen, let me tell you something. You'll, have, you'll get to talking and you'll tear somebody so far down that they can't get up. People are committing suicide and everything else because we saying what we grown enough to say. Talking about tough love. But that's not God. Oh, I'm trying to help you. That's not God. We want the, we want the suicide rate to go down. Then you, you say something out your mouth that edify somebody. We just read about that. Love your neighbor like you love yourself. That's God. I got a right to say whatever I want to say. You right. But that right will uh, walk you right out of the kingdom of God. My God. Hallelujah. Let's look at this thing. Amen. Drunkenness. Oh. <laughs> Drunkenness. See, we always think that this means alcohol. But this is not just alcohol. You can be drunk in your anger. You could be drunk in lasciviousness. Come on. You could be drunk in thinking that you know everything. You write about everything. And people like that are usually by themselves. Drunkenness. Drunk. You done got mad and went against the pastor and then went through the whole church and destroyed the whole church. You done got mad and then went to your brother over here and destroyed the whole family. You just meet. Come on. I'm talking about you drunk. You drunk in your own selfishness. You drunk in your own self-righteousness. Oh yeah, you drunk. That's a manifestation of the flesh. <laughs> My God. Hallelujah. Reveling. Let me help you. Glory to God. Reveling. What is reveling? You say, Pastor Jay, what's reveling? Let's look it up. Glory to God. Our people perish for a lack of knowledge. Amen. I tell people all the time, this ain't back in the days when, when people couldn't read. We can read now. Read and get an understanding of the word and know for yourself. The Bible say work out your own soul salvation. And all things get an understanding. Glory to God. Let's look at this thing. What is reveling? Reveling. Glory to God. Oh my goodness, this partying right here, the life of the party, I party, I get drunk, I get drunk and party, I'm the life of the party, I'm just, 
I'm just, and then, and just, come on. Some of y'all, when y'all was in the world, had that reputation. And there's some people that's listening tonight that got that reputation. It's time to let that go. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. When I became a man, I put away childish things. It's time to put that away. It's time to put that away and give God the reins of your life. Come on. Hallelujah. It's time to come unto Jesus while you have time. This word tonight is a warning. Glory to God. It says, in the, in the word it says, and such like of thee which I tell you before. He's told us this before. Come on. As I have also told you in time past. That they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. That's the word of God. You shall not inherit the kingdom of God. It's no time to sit back and think because, if, you know, that you got it made. You don't have it made if you got these things going on in your life. If you got fornication going on in, in your life, you playing Russian roulette, roulette with your soul. If you are drunken and 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 and, and you have and, and dealing with lasciviousness, porn, and all this kind of stuff, guess what? You playing Russian roulette with your soul salvation, emulations, uh, uh, greedy. You greedy and you and you jealous and you co and you competing, trying to emulate and have and don't trust God to get you for God to bless you with your own stuff. Guess what you doing? You setting yourself up. Russian roulette. Every day you get up and still walk in that in that lifestyle of sin. You spin that doggone thing and it roll around and that and you put it to putting it to your head saying, I'm gonna take a chance with my soul salvation. Ain't no time. Let me tell you something. It's folk that thought they had years and died at 30, died at 20, died at 16, died at 17. But they thought they had time because they were young. They thought they had time to go to church. They mama been telling them you need to get saved. And they thought they had time. I'm here to tell you today, if any of these things are in your life, it's time to get delivered. You can't keep playing with God. You can't keep playing with your soul salvation. If you have never gotten up and confessed the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you in trouble. People don't tell you this no more. You can go out there and drink and go to church on Sunday morning you and, and sing the house down. And you think you got it. You don't have it. He knows all and he sees all. I'm talking to the backslider tonight. He said he's married to the backslider. Let me tell y'all something. When I backslid, come on. The, the, the enemy came in seven times greater. And it was harder for me to get free. But here I am before you today saying God is able. He's able to bring you out. He's able to deliver you. He's able to take the taste of alcohol out your mouth. He's able to take crack cocaine out of your system. He's able to clean you up. And turn your life around. Some of y'all out there are uh, 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 doing some undercover stuff. The feds will run up in your place and take you to jail. Listen, my God. It's a warning before destruction. It's time. It's time for you to say, I'm going to listen. I tell people all the time, there's some things I can do without. Some people say, well, you, you want to go here? No, nope, there's some things I can do without. May not be a sin, but I know it's the road to sin. It's some things I can do without. Well, girl, I got to be in the club. I got to be in this. It's some things, glory to God, that I can do without. I had a best friend, praise God, when I was in the world, praise God. I gave my life to Christ. She came back to visit. She said, she say, come on and hang with me. Come on, hang with me. Uh, We're going to go out. I said, I don't go out no more. I said, why don't you stay in? Come over and visit with me. Stay in. Let me tell you about the word of God. You know what she said? Now, I'm going to go ahead and go out. That night, praise God. She got robbed, come on, and they shot her point-blank range in the head. 
Some of y'all saying you got time because people been saying for years, oh, these are the last days. But let me tell you something. If tomorrow God pull your card, today is your last day. Oh, glory to God. If you go to sleep tonight and don't wake in the morning, tonight was your last night. Ah, oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you go out in the morning to head to work and a crash happened, guess what? Those were your last moments. There's a warning before destruction. Glory to God. Some of y'all getting ready for surgery. Some of y'all doing, listen, and you have not received Jesus Christ. You have not, listen. I told somebody one time, I don't even want nobody driving me that don't have Jesus in their life. Come on, hallelujah. I don't want, I don't want, because guess what? It no telling when. Oh my God, hallelujah. These are the last days. From the day that you were born, glory to God, the last days begin. These are the last days. He said in the last days that perilous times shall come. We are in perilous times. How bold do you want to see it? How, how big do you want the street sign? We are on quarantine. Do you hear what I'm saying? It is a, listen. <sighs> how big do you want the red flag? Lord, send me a sign. Oh, I'll repent on my deathbed. I'm too young to receive Jesus Christ. I'm too young to get saved. Let me tell you something. You ain't too young to die. If you young enough to die, come on. Then you young enough to get saved. Come on. You old enough. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. I want to help you today. Because this is, this is, this is precious to me. Your soul, amen, is going to be required of you. It's time to stop playing games. It's time to just stop, to stop just attending church. You are the church. The wages of sin is death. There is nothing extra. There is no if. There is no fine print. The wages of sin is death. The payment for sin, the payment for the works of the flesh is death. In other words, there, after you die, that's it. You're going to hell. Do you understand? <laughs> we don't want to talk about hell no more. Because we don't want nobody to feel uncomfortable. But you're going to be real uncomfortable in the pits of hell. You're going to be, they said that the fire will never be quenched. You'll be wanting to put it out. Come on. And it won't go out. Come on. Hallelujah. You smell brimstone. Come on. You smell flesh burning. You don't want to be there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Can't put it out. The wages of sin is death. The payment for the things that you're doing, that you think that you're getting away with, the paycheck for that is death. Oh, but the gift, oh my God, but the gift of God is eternal life. The gift, oh, yeah, you don't have to, Lord Jesus, you can't even, you can't even work. You can't even work. To, 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 to repay what Jesus Christ did for you on the cross. You can't even, listen, you can't go to a pawn shop. You can't sell a car or a house. You can't hit the lottery to pay for. Huh? Glory to God. What God is trying to do for you tonight. The gift of God is free. It's free. Hallelujah. All you got to do, amen, is confess that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. And, oh Lord have mercy. And say out of your mouth that you believe that he died on the cross for your sins. Hallelujah. That he rose on the third day as a representation of the old man dying and the new man rising up. Hallelujah. Uh, and receive him in your heart. Confess and ask God, Lord, forgive me my sins. Forgive me for the things that I've done. Forgive me. Hallelujah. Forgive me for my mind 
said, forgive me for the, my thoughts. Forgive me for, oh Lord, have mercy. For fornication, for adultery. Forgive me for hatred. Forgive me. Hallelujah. For idolatry. Forgive me. For wrath. Forgive me for strife. Forgive me for heresies. Forgive me. He got a high and glory to God. Forgive me. I'm concerned about your soul. Hallelujah. I tell people all the time, I, listen, I'll go if I have to go by myself. I'll, 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 listen, I'll sing if I got to sing by myself. I'll preach if I got to preach by myself. But I'm going to tell somebody that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. I want God to heal your land. Glory to God. But you, amen, first have to turn. You got to make a decision to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And to walk, amen, hallelujah, the walk that God has set forth in your life. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you tonight. Hallelujah. We thank you, glory to God. We humble ourselves under your mighty hand, glory to God. Lord, we seek your face tonight, glory to God. Lord, clean us up right now, Father God. Lord, we repent right now and receive you as our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to your name, Father God. Lord, we were a wretch undone, glory to God. Hallelujah. And Lord, we need you, glory to God. We're contrite, hallelujah. We're broken before you tonight, hallelujah. Lord, keep, Lord, mm, hallelujah. Take out of this stony heart, glory to God, of unforgiveness. And give us a heart that can feel, hallelujah. Give us a heart, glory to God, for your people. Give us a heart that can love the way you say love. Help us to let go and let you take the reins of our life, glory to God. Let you be our leader, our God, glory to God, in these last and evil days. Lord, we need you like never before, glory to God. I pray for the backslider tonight. I pray, glory to God, that they re return unto you, glory to God. Knowing that your hands are outstretched, glory to God. Waiting on them to, to submit to you tonight. Lord, I believe right now somebody is saying, I, Lord, I'm coming home, glory to God. Like the prodigal son, glory to God. Hallelujah. Let them know that you got a robe for them, glory to God. Yeah. Lord, we thank you right now. We thank you. Oh, glory to God. I thank you, Father God, for those souls that said, glory to God, what must I do to be saved? And they received Jesus Christ. They received the Lamb of God. They received it. Hallelujah. And Lord, I just, Lord, right now, we just apply the blood of Jesus to our families. We apply the blood of Jesus to our homes. We apply the blood of Jesus to our doorposts. We apply the blood of Jesus to our finances. We apply the blood of Jesus to every area of our life because we know that the blood still works. Glory to God. And Lord, we thank you for it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight, praise God. I want you to know, praise God, amen, that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Come on back to God.